Hi, and welcome back to English with Fliss. This is the final video of our Aussie slang series. And today we'll be focusing on the letters U to Y because there are no slang words starting with um, Z. <laughs> so don't forget to hit that subscribe and little notification bell and let's get into it. So a U-E is a U-turn. So if we say chuck a U-E up ahead, which we're saying make a U-turn up ahead. All right, turn around. Undies are just underwear. Um, usually we refer to it as women's underwear, um, but we can use it for men's as well. So whatever, just have you got your undies on? Are your undies in the wash? Anyway, unreal just means oh, it's another exclamation. So like awesome, cool, fantastic out of this world. So exclamation. Up yours um, is used in um, an ex exclamation of contempt. I'm struggling saying exclamation at the moment. Um, so we might be angry at someone and we're rejecting them. We're basically telling them to go away, get stuffed. So up yours. And then we've got up yourself, which means someone who is basically a snob. So we might say, oh, she's so up herself. So we're saying she's a snob or you're talking to someone else, to a man, and you go, oh, you're so up yourself, aren't you? Uh, to veg out just means to laze about, do nothing. Wag, similar to skip, or skipping school. Um, we're going to wag school today, which means you're not going to school for no reason. And, or you might just wag a single class. Um, to whinge means to complain about little things. Similar to sook, this one. So whinge. Oh, he's such a whinger. Oh, you're going to have a little whinge about that, are you? So, yeah, just someone who complains. Wonky just means crooked. Whoop whoop. We usually um, say, oh, he lives out in whoop whoop, which means we're basically saying he lives out in the middle of nowhere. Like it's ages away, middle of nowhere, no civilization. So whoop whoop. Um, yeah is just a lazy way of saying you so oh oi what are you doing this afternoon or what are you doing this salvo so yeah instead of saying what are you doing you might say yeah what are you doing um yanking your chain is just similar to someone who's a stirrer so someone who deliberately antagonizes or annoys you um for their own amusement um but it could also be a bit more innocent than that. So they've told a furphy. If you don't know what a furphy is, go check out um, my Aussie slang letters starting with F. Um, they're telling a furphy or a lie um, and you might go, oh, really? Because you just can't believe it. And they go, no, I'm just yanking your chain. So, um, yeah, yanking your chain just means sort of stir you up. Why tell furphies? Um, a yobbo is similar to a bogan, someone who is loud mouth, bad language, poorly dressed. They don't care about how they look or sound. It's basically a yobbo. Then we've got yonks. So I might say to my friend, oh, I haven't seen you in yonks. Oh, it's been yonks because we haven't seen each other in a few months, few years, whatever. So it's just like means a long period of time has passed. You ripper, that is another one of our um, happy exclamations. So we're just saying, oh, you ripper, like we're really happy about something that's just happened or yeah, basically we're happy about something that's happened. Um, use is similar to like ya, how we use ya. So used is referring to a group of people. Um, again, it is not correct, correct language. Um, so we might say, oi, yous are being really loud in this class today. Yous are making it hard on the teacher. So that would be an, a sentence example of yous. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this Aussie slang series. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some things. I know there are definitely some sayings and some words that I missed. Um, I think of them as I'm 
just going about my normal day because I might say them myself or I might hear someone say it. So I will compile a list of those and then I will eventually make a video when I have enough compiled together, um, make a video on those too so we can keep learning some Aussie slang. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.